Hi guys! In my last video I showed you how to build a scatter plot, and so if you haven't seen that video you're going to want to click around here somewhere and jump to that video so you can see how it's built if you haven't built it yet. In this video I'm going to show you how to add your regression, R squared values, and your trend line. As you can see, we've already made the scatter plot, and it is suggesting that a concentration between 11 and 15 molarity is effective for suppressing the great terrible dragon fire breath. Now we need to add the trend line to your data series, which is the best fit line, and add the R squared value or the regression value to your chart. And the regression value basically just tells you how correlated your independent and dependent variables are. So if your R squared value is closer to one, then it suggests that your independent and dependent variables are closely correlated and if your R squared value is closer to zero then it suggests that your independent and dependent variables are more uncorrelated. Adding the trend line is really simple. You click on the data series that you're interested in, you go to chart tools at the top, layout, trend line and even though there's a linear trend line option here we want more trend line options because we want the linear trend line and we also want to display the R squared value on the chart and you can click OK and hit close and your R squared value is right here if you'd like and if you have multiple series of data you can change the color of your trend line to match your data you can do this by selecting your trend line and right clicking on it and you'll say that you want to format the trend line and you want the line color to be solid and you can pick whatever color you want and I'm going to pick green to match our data points and you'll just hit close and you'll see that our R squared value is 0 0.95 so it's really close to 1 which means that as our solution gets more concentrated dragon fire breath is more and more suppressed. And that's it. That's how you add the trend line and the R squared value to your scatter plot.